YouTube banners are essential for any YouTube channel. If you really want to optimize your channel's branding, you should design a custom banner that aligns with the theme and aesthetic of your YouTube content. Not everyone has the design skills to create a high-quality banner, which is why we're going to show you the easiest way to make a custom YouTube banner using free templates. Let's get started. The recommended dimensions for YouTube banners are 2560 by 1440 pixels. This size will ensure that your banner looks sharp on all devices. To make things easy, we're going to use Snappa to design our YouTube banner. The templates are already pre-sized to the correct dimensions, and the safe zones are built right in. It only takes a few seconds to make a free account, and you can scroll down and click on YouTube banner to view our templates. Feel free to scroll through and look for the perfect banner design. All of these templates are fully customizable, so don't worry if you can't find a design that matches the theme of your YouTube channel, because you'll be able to edit any element of the template. This one looks great, and I can just click on it to start designing. Now that my canvas is open, you'll notice that the safe zones are active. This shows which sections of my banner will appear on different devices. This center area of the banner is where you're going to want to place all of your main design elements, because this is the section that will be visible on all devices. You can also use this toggle at the top to switch off the safe zones, allowing you to get a full view of your banner design. Now that we understand how the safe zones work, we can begin designing. The first thing I want to do is change the background color. I can click on the backgrounds tab, select color, and use the color picker to change it. I'm going to choose red, and then I'll click on the custom tab to bring it down to a dark burgundy. Next up, I want to swap out the photos. I can click on this photo and press delete on my keyboard to remove it. Then I'll click on the graphics tab and select photos to add new images from Snappa's built-in stock image library. Let's say my YouTube channel is all about coffee. I can use the search bar to look up coffee beans and a bunch of high-res images will pop up for me to use. I'll click on this photo to add it to my canvas, and I can click and drag to resize and reposition it. Now, I can repeat the same steps with the second image, and I'll take my time to line up the images perfectly. Next up, we can swap out the text. I'll remove this text box, and click on the text tab to add a new one. Once I double-click on the new text box, I'll be able to type in the name of my channel, and I can use the toolbar on the left to make any adjustments. This allows you to change the color, the size, the font, and the alignment of your text. I'll also just quickly turn on the safe zones to make sure that my text is positioned inside the center area. For a final touch, I want to add a clean border around the text. I can click on the Shapes tab, choose a rectangular border, and adjust the size and positioning on my canvas. I'm also going to use the toolbar to change the color and the thickness of the border. Now that I'm all finished designing, I'm going to rename my graphic by clicking on the pen icon at the top. I'm also going to save to avoid losing any progress and I'll download the banner as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. It only took a few minutes to design a clean, professional-looking banner, and now I can upload it to YouTube to see how it looks on my channel. Once you're in YouTube, click your profile icon in the top right corner and select YouTube Studio. In the menu on the left, click Customization, and then select the Branding tab at the top. Here is where you can upload your new banner. Once you click Upload, select the banner file that you downloaded from Snappa and hit Done. Make sure to click Publish in the top right corner to save your changes, and you can check out your new custom banner on your YouTube channel. Well, that wraps up today's video. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.